Okay, welcome to the show, you guys. Uh, Pirates Galley. Okay, I'm dedicating this show to all you mothers out there in heaven or not. Okay, uh, Emily, congratulations on the new baby. Grandma Beth, you know I love you girls with all my heart. Hope to see her soon. Um, my blood mother, Leslie. Uh, my three stepmoms, uh, Debbie, Jen, and Michelle. Okay. Anyway, let's get cooking. We're going to do chicken fried um, chicken, okay, with a twist. So what you're going to need, I'm, I'm, I'm doing four chicken breasts, okay, you're going to, I'm going to do a country gravy. We're going to make it easy out of the box pretty much, okay, so get a country gravy mix. Um, I add mostly milk, three-quarter milk, the rest water to these gravies. It makes them a lot, and cook them slower. Uh, gives it a lot more better thickness, okay? I, I don't have enough potatoes, so I'm just going to the old school potatoes, instant potatoes, and I'm doing canned green beans because, um, anyway, like I am like I said, I'm going to do mostly just the main dishes for you guys. You can expand on that. So you're going to need two eggs, okay? Country gravy mix. Believe it or not, you're going to need a thing of graham crackers, okay? Um, salt. Your, whatever you want to spice it with. Like I said, Montreal is what I use. Um, garlic and pepper. Okay? So listen, we'll be right back. I'll get this show going. Oh, and you're going to need some olive oil. Okay? See you in a few. So I've got flour. Okay? So what I'm doing with the flour. Okay, I don't add anything. I've got crushed... Uh, I crushed those... Uh, they're just... Cin uh, no cinnamon in these. They're just honey uh, graham crackers crushed up. Okay? So I'm going to set that aside now in, in your flour. This is where you just want to throw in some seasonings to your taste. I throw in this Montreal. Okay, now I use, I use quite a bit of garlic. So, you know, I'm going to throw at least a tablespoon of garlic in here. Okay. Uh, a little bit of pepper. Okay. And just a little bit of salt because... The salt will set off the sweetness of these graham crackers, okay? So you just put about a quarter teaspoon in there is all you want with the salt. Okay, mix that up. Really good. Okay. And what we're going to do is bread these. I'll bread one for you, okay? And then uh, I'll bread the rest and we'll get back. And then I'll have to come back. I'll make the potatoes and everything else. And then, of course, the captain's favorite cornbread okay you can't go wrong even if this is a bad meal the kids will eat the cornbread right okay so make sure you just get your cornbread the best cornbread we like i personally is uh famous dave's great barbecue place maybe they'll send me a lunch for two um anyway a shout out real <laughs> right <laughs> okay anyway listen a little shout out i've got a buddy of mine Okay, Dean's on his feet. We'd love to hear that, Dean. Pam, you guys doing good. He's getting in rehab. But I've got a buddy of mine named Dan, um, and he uh, has some stuff happen to him. Anyway, gets a major back surgery, gets on his feet, falls on his face, breaks his wrist, sends me a picture of his x-ray last night, pins and all this. So on three, we're going to go, we love you, Dan, and send out all kinds of killer vibes. So ready? One, two, three. We love, love you, you Dan. Dan. Okay, we'll be right back. Okay, so uh, two eggs, little a uh, couple tablespoons of water. Whip it up really good. Here's your flour, okay, that we've got our spices and everything in. Bread crumbs, okay, easy. Now listen, these breasts that they got these days are just monsters or whatever. So if you've got a tenderizer or whatever, kind of thin them out, okay? You kind of want just a nice thin so it cooks even. Okay, you don't want big lumpy. Anyway, I'm going to just do one of these and then um, show you how, which is you probably already know how. But I keep the graham crackers in here. Okay, try to keep one. And I, oh, I'm heating up uh, the olive oil so we can dip these. But you keep one hand in the, in the junk over here and then use your other hand to get it out so both hands aren't. But give it a good dip in that flour. Good dip in that egg. I don't know if you can see that, but give it a good one. And then just drop it right in there. Okay. Give it a shake. Then flatten her out a little bit. Shake and bake, baby. Okay. And you don't need a, a real heavy coating on them. Just get a nice 
graham cracker crust. Okay, I'm gonna do the rest of these and then we'll get them cooking, okay? Kids, get your grades up. All right, friends, we're back. Pirate's Galley here. Okay, so look at here what we've got. Crusted graham crackers. I'm gonna do this. Listen, um, uh, I'm waiting for my boat. We're trying to get this boat done and then we'll be able to fly over. We'll be on endurance soon. We'll be on the beach probably Monday. Uh, anyway, we got a lot of stuff going on, but I want to fit in these shows. So anyway, uh, we've got this chicken ready to go in. So check it out. Okay. Now you want it just kind of low when you start it up. Get her going. Want it we don't want this crust to just fry up too much because it's got a little sugar in it. Okay, so this is just a medium cook. Okay, leave the top off. Get that grease around. Okay, so listen, I'm going to cook these up. But before I go, listen, uh, John and I and a man named Mick Valentino uh, do music. Okay, and uh, mix amazing. Check him out on YouTube or look him up on whatever you do. Google, John? Just Google guitarist Go Mickey Mick Valentino. There you go. Anyway, listen, we've got a we, we do music. It's called the Rampton Project, uh, ramptonproject.com or on YouTube. So check that out too. We'll be doing more. We got a lot more going as soon as this guy Dan fixes his hand, okay? playing guitar with a cast on. I don't know what's going on with this guy. Anyway, we'll, we'll cook these up and be right back. I, I think you can hear it. Just a small crackle. Okay, I would be using cast iron for this, but we've got visitors that have had to cook on the beach today. Uh, so they're using the cast iron skillet we've got. But you just want to slow cook these nice and easy, okay? There's no hurry on this dish. Um, you want that chicken tender and done, and you don't want to burn these breadcrumbs. Okay, so anyway, I'll be back in a little bit and show you the final product. Okay, thank you guys. Mm, you love that little crackle. Now, when you flip them over, if, if I, I try to go with light grease at the beginning, same way all the way through it, or oil, excuse me. So do the same trick I did on the pork chops. Just a little bit of oil on the corners. Just a little bit just to make sure you hit those breadcrumbs on the bottom. Now here's another dish that if you brown them on both sides and want to throw them in the oven for half an hour on 325, if even that, okay, I can throw these in the oven right now, walk away, do whatever I'm doing, and then um, come back and they'll be done. But I cook these all the way through usually, and we'll be right back with the final dish. Okay, all right, we're back, you guys. Check it out. Here we go, huh? There's your chicken fried chicken with graham crackers. Okay, and like I said, I dedicate this to all you mothers, okay? You guys, if I can help you, just get one meal out, okay? I promise the kids will love this stuff. Husbands, wives, whoever's cooking, it doesn't matter, but here's what, here's what I've got for you, okay? Chicken fried chicken mashed potatoes green beans and cornbread okay and what do we do john like subscribe follow uh, comment dance comment let's dance let's do some comments try okay it, try it at home and tell us what you like okay listen i'm getting a lot of comments on my personal phone so is he from some people that know somebody what what you guys even if they're negative or positive just put them on there and and uh we'll read them and try to fix it or not fix it Anyway, chicken fried chicken. Good night. God bless.